Mikey's right. I do have, it's not a script. This is a few notes because I want to run through a few things today. And obviously most of the things I do is off a video, not public speaking. So something I'm working on. But the Zion elites, secret societies. Once upon a time, most people think that is not true. They don't really exist. And believe me, they do exist. And the whole world is being run by secret societies. I think some more, some more people get your phones out. This is about the message today. We need to all make sure we're hitting our platforms with the message from everybody speaking and to show we've got the numbers and the support to say no to vaccinating children, no to tyranny, and no to the corruptness that we're all having to live under at the moment. It's mass genocide. And I'm going to be very careful with words because I know there's kids around. Believe me, there's mass genocide happening right now. The quicker we realise, the better, because those who do not realise are going to be damned by it. People are rising everywhere around the world right now. And the power of the people united is unstoppable. That is what they fear the most. Hence why the very start of 2020, all you heard on your TVs, everywhere, stickers on the floors, in the shops, keep your distance away from each other. They don't want us connecting. They don't want us united. Because that's where they lose. Yeah. One thing that makes me cry is trying to be a tough man. Watching people that have had bad reactions, children, young teenagers, adults, people that have had the vaccine having reactions to it. But you can only see that through the medias that aren't the, the mainstream, like Telegram and certain other platforms. Because the censorship in this world at the moment is a one-sided battle. It's basically humanity versus governments worldwide. Nobody would have expected that World War III wasn't about countries, it's humanity versus governments worldwide. Just a quick thing before I do um, a little poem, I'm only doing a small part of my poem of it last year, but I want to run through something. Boris Johnson, aka Alexander. His dad is known as Stanley Depop, because that's what he's into, depopulation. Not a lot of people know that Boris Johnson's dad started writing books in 1980. The very first book was called The Virus. The second book will be The Population Problem in 1982. 1984, The, the Politics of Population. 1986, The Doomsday Deposit. Then we've got Find and Submission, Demand Systems. Basically, what's worse than a Nazi? A Nazi in disguise when you don't know it's a Nazi. And that's why we have all the God-given right to remember that word, because a lot of people say to me, you've got to calm down with it. No, we need to make sure any officers or politicians that are acting like Nazis, we the people, remind them of what they are. <laughs> the innocent children will never have a say if we let these demons have it their way. I wrote this poem about all of our fights during the time of dark versus light. First aiders down here, quick! Come in. We've got some big speeches today and we've got some um, very important messages of people that come here from different places to deliver their message. If everyone gets their phone out, it'd be a big help. Get them onto the platforms and that's how we deliver the message of power and unity. So I'm going to jump straight back into the finish off the poem and then we'll pass on to the next speaker. The innocent children. And I have my children here today as well. So that's a big important thing for me that work, bring them to my first gathering. The innocent children will never have a say if we let these demons have it their way. I wrote this poem about all of our fights during the time of dark versus light. Their artificial ways will keep us running on low. The time is now. Start letting go. Stop elite growth. It's out of control. Or forever be slaves to political goal. Wars are corrupt. Crimes that destroy. They win them with pleasure or lose them with joy. They'll send all the children and send all the men, pro uh, promised with glory, never seen again. The inevitable results of material greed is another thing stopping the enlightenment we need. The evil people dividing you and me are the very same bloodlines running society. They divide us into colours, 
and they divide us into faiths or smash divisions down because that's the human race. So the innocent children will never have a say if we let these demons have it their way. I know it's hard, but we must not hide. Let's face these demons as one pride! Next up is one of my best friends and someone that I am very glad to have met, Mike Freeman, and he's an absolute legend to the movement, guys. There you go, Mikey.